next update this month is bringing to you more flexibility with uh, the vision sample application that comes with every PBCS and EPBCS implementation. Um, so a couple things that are coming to the sample app this month. One is support for, for InfoLets. Um, so this is allowing you to go in in that vision sample application and play around and do some, some real testing on, on InfoLets, uh, bringing some quick reference analysis and uh, facts to you via, via some interactive small dashboarding that's customizable. Um, and this is something that can be designed again around, uh, around your, your navigation flows interface too for, for referencing. Um, the next thing that is coming to the vision application this month is a new setting available for administrators to, to apply. And what this setting is, is allowing or disallowing users to be able to enter, enter data in web forms on rows that have been tagged as, as suppressed missing. Um, so when you, when you set up your, your data form and there's suppressed missing on rows, typically if there is a row with no data in it, you wouldn't see that, that row and be able to input data. But I think for the sake of, of testing here in the vision application and having more of an administrative type uh, function as a user now, this is becoming available um, to the vision application. Another update, there are three new smart forms that are coming along with the vision application this month, uh, one of which involves um, or is built around using some Excel functions. Another one uses Excel formulas, and the third one was designed and implemented using the Smart View interface. So just a few more tools to use in the vision application when you're going through and, and testing on different, different subjects uh, in your implementation. And another update that's hitting the vision app is a navigation flows update. And what this means to you is more ability within the vision application to set up connections for your users to, to access PBCS and other Oracle Cloud offerings uh, via one interface and be able to navigate, navigate based, on, based on clusters that way. Um, and there is another update as well, which is just a redesign of some of the clustering within the simplified interface, uh, which you might notice if you are spending time um, in the Vision application doing, doing testing, things like that. So just some more functionality coming at you being available. Uh, within the sample app to get you kind of up, up to speed with PVCS or to do some, some heavy testing, whatever you use the app for. Um, and that is what comes with August.